The big premiere is coming, the RVers to Discovery Channel. Set your DVRs, set your alarm clocks, get up to watch November 17th, 8 a.m. We're going to be on TV. I'm staying on the path that I've chosen straight up. Come my way and I'll see you at the top. Ten days. Ten days from now, we're going to be on the Discovery Channel. Who would have thought? I, it's just not quite seeming real yet. I'm sure it will in ten days. But a year ago, we signed on to be part of a new TV series called The RVers that was supposed to be just on PBS and some streaming services. And, well, apparently the show, um, the first place, the pilots around and stuff, the Discovery Channel saw it, and they're like, hey, we want this show too. And so Discovery Channel, in some ways, is, is it, PBS is cooler, you know, it's more highbrow and all that stuff, but Discovery Channel goes out to so many millions of people that it's like a whole different ball game. and now our little show, we're a part of it, is going to be going to all those millions of people. <laughs> Along with our co-hosts, Peter and John of the RV Geeks, and Tom and Kate of Morton's on the Move, and producer Anthony Nally, also a full-time RVer, will be also a host of it. And it is an educational show. And not reality TV. It is not reality TV. It's not about any of us. And we're super excited about it. So excited about it that we're like, wait a minute, how are we going to watch this? We are cord cutters. We don't have this TV thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we haven't had cable <laughs> since we hit the road. You know, it's been 13 years now. We haven't had cable. We've never been satellite TV people. That's a big clunky thing to carry around. Takes up a, takes space away from the solar and um, cell antennas that we'd rather have on our roof. So we're like, well, how are we going to watch ourselves if we're on Discovery Channel? And so that's what we're going to talk about today is there are still ways as RVers to get these channels and even actually very affordably and even f potentially free um, if you are not still tied to cable or satellite. So first of all, if you are on an RV park that has cable, and some do, uh, check to see if Discovery Channel is on your uh, programming list. You might be able to watch it right there at your site. This, this RV park we're at right now actually has Discovery Channel right at the pedestals. Um, if you do have satellite TV, check your current channel lineup. Uh, all the current plans on DISH and Direct TV do include Discovery Channel. We don't know about legacy plans or older plans. I, we've heard that some don't <laughs> have it. Um, but if you've got satellite TV, great. If you don't have satellite TV, it's not worth going and installing just to watch the show. I think I have that much clear. Yes. No, but <laughs> now there, some people think, oh, that's the only sort of way to get cable channels. And, well, you can't get cable channels over the air with an over-the-air TV antenna. But there's actually quite a few streaming live TV services that have come out over the last two years that basically are like cable or satellite over the Internet. And you're still kind of subscribing to a TV service. You're getting your bundle of channels and all that stuff. And the... You know, these services range from, um, you know, YouTube Live and Hulu with Live TV and PlayStation View, which is now being canceled, so be careful if you have that one, um, to, to there's actually several others, and they all kind of work just like, like, uh, like a cable does. You have your bundle, you have your package, and, well, they then you've got to figure out what channels you actually have. So that's the important thing. Make sure your package has Discovery Channel. Channel. Um, just FYI, if you signed on to AT&T's Direct TV Now service, which is now called AT&T TV, now, TV, TV whatever, now. they dropped Discovery Channel recently. But if you have their Watch TV, which is included in some of their last generation of unlimited plans, yes. that one does include it. Right. So, so, so the the key is if if you do want to subscribe to one of these, um, you know, over the internet uh, cableish bundles, you have to pick the one that that works well for you, has the channels you want, has the plays back on the devices you want, the phones and the smart TVs and everything else, um, has the various features you want, and then they range hugely in price. From AT and T's Watch TV is just fifteen dollars a month, and anybody can sign up, not just AT and T customers, all the way up to to cable-like bundles that are over well over a hundred dollars include more channels than you could even count so pick the ones you want and but we found one or actually he found yes. one called it's called philo is that how philo it's yes um so so if you want quick simple and easy and particularly if you just want to be able to tune in for the premiere with this without even having to like give a credit card or sign up for anything a philo 
makes it super easy to sign up. Their plans are normally $20 a month, and instead of having like the expensive network channels and sports channels and stuff like that, they just have the you know the collection of 58 cable-ish channels, including Discovery. Discovery. And Philo makes it so easy to get their trial. You just put in your phone number onto onto a phone. You know, go to the web page, put in their phone number. They'll text you to your phone. You click the link, and download the app. And you have no other sign in, no accounts, nothing else. You instantly have your seven day free trial going. And then if you want to keep going, you can pay twenty dollars a month, and so on and so forth. And we do have a referral code we found down. I'll put it in the description. That'll yeah. save you five dollars off. Put the credit in our account. I don't yes. know. We'll probably be keeping this service so we can <laughs> so continue we can to watch watching. our episodes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So so Philo makes things interesting. You can watch Discovery Channel live and all this. Now, there's a bit of a catch too. Now, Discovery Channel does have their own app. It's called Discovery Go, and that also lets you watch Discovery Channel live. But you have to be subscribed to some other cable service because they can't undercut their contractually obligated uh, the, the providers who are carrying them. So. Um, if you want to be able to watch with the Discovery Go app, you have to be subscribed to satellite, to cable, or to some of these compatible streaming internet services, and Philo is one of them. So Philo will let you watch with the Discovery Go app, and there's one great advantage of that is because Philo, if you're watching on an iPhone and you want to use HDMI to use your on-device data and watch on a big screen, the Philo app currently is broken. They say it's a feature they're working on, but the Discovery Go app does support works it. great out onto a big screen so you can use your on-device data. And that brings us back around is when you're streaming television <laughs> or, or content over the internet, like this YouTube video, over mobile internet sources, it uses a lot of data to do this. And that's what we specialize in. That's our day job <laughs> is tracking mobile internet options for RVers and cruisers. And we have a whole resource center over there. We have a guide at uh, mobileinternetinfo.com slash tv that goes over a whole bunch of tips and tricks including the one he just mentioned which is right. using those hdmi out options to screencast your image from your smartphone to a larger tv screen without tapping into mobile hotspot caps uh, but yeah there's also a ton of um, unlimited data plans out there that actually give you reasonably unlimited yes. uh, data we have a full guide to that at mobileinternetinfo.com slash plan picks uh, that goes over our current top pick data plans for RVers and cruisers. So there are options for streaming data, and if you're watching over cable, uh, sorry, campground provided Wi-Fi, just keep in mind, the Wi-Fi on a lot of campgrounds isn't sufficient enough to have a positive streaming experience. Right. So when does the RVers premiere? 10 days from this, is this the 17th of November, oh my gosh. At 8 a.m. Eastern, Sunday morning. And also, Discovery Specific Feed will be 8 a.m. Pacific too. However, Discovery Channel is not the only place this is going on. We are still coming to PBS. It's going to be coming on Apple TV, um, Amazon, Amazon Video, Google and the Play. format is different on those. And um, instead of us covering it, let's let's, let's call in Anthony. <laughs> yes, we're going to go talk to the producer of the show, and we're going to actually have a few exclusive scoops about what's coming and the future of the RVers. How do you know this is going to be exclusive scopes? We haven't talked to him yet. Uh, future. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Anthony. <laughs> Anthony is the producer Hi, everyone. of the RVers. And you might notice he's in something that looks like an RV. Is this a set or are you in an actual RV? It is yes, a this is magic. a very expensive, very elaborate Hollywood set. It, Otherwise it, known as my fifth wheel. <laughs> uh, so that is not a green screen behind you. It's just a real brown couch. That's <laughs> not Hollywood magic. In fact, you're not yes. even in Hollywood. No, I'm in Milton, Ontario right now. I should be wearing a toque. <laughs> Great. So, so our audience hasn't probably have a chance to meet Anthony yet, but he is a, he and his wife are full-time RVers. And, and we yeah, and we actually met them while we were in the lot at getting our bus kind of torn apart and rebuilt at um, in Elkhart, Indiana. Five and years, four years ago. Five, four, yeah. It's been a while. Right when you guys hit the road, right? We just picked up our RV not a matter of a few weeks before that. We ended up being neighbors. We were yes. literally parked right next to each other, and we had to spend a couple days together. And at the time, you were working remotely, using um, mobile internet. <laughs> and trying, uh, to, trying to. We just yeah. got started, and we were yeah. struggling. And uh, we, we introduced you to the MIA and what we were doing with that sort of stuff and helped you get set up with that. And you told us that the work that you're doing is you produced a TV series on PBS. Like, wow. And you told us it's the aviators, and I'm a, an aviation geek, and I was like, oh, that sounds super cool. And then you told some of the stuff you did. And we didn't have too much time to connect then because we were deep in bus project chaos and 
anything like that. But, you know, we became online friends ever since. And then I said, just about a, a year, year ago, ago, you contact us it's a, with a new idea. <laughs> it's like the aviators, but with RVs and without the Blue Angels. It's like, ooh. ooh well, I don't know, maybe the Blue Angels will travel by RV. That would be well, cool. without the Blue Angels, but with Sheree and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think the Blue Angels would be more cool, but uh, we're not doing loop de loops on the RVers. Hopefully not. <laughs> yes. Anyway, what was your was inspiration to, to share both the aviators and RVers? I mean, this comes from personal passion. Yeah, I mean, I've wanted to fly my entire life, and I, I am a pilot now, so I fulfilled that lifelong dream. And I, have believe it or not, wanted an RV my entire life. Mm -hmm. And in 2015, I finally got a chance to fulfill that lifelong dream. And it seems if I fulfill a lifelong dream, well, hang on, there's probably going to be a TV show about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I seem to remember you mentioned that you were thinking about doing an, a show about RVing back then. Someday, yeah. Someday. Um, I, knew didn't nothing, really start yeah, I knew nothing about RVing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> the little bit that I knew was was thanks to Peter and John. I'd watched a, a bunch of their videos, and I was just getting, you know, immersed more and more and learning more and more. And uh, and then when I met you guys, I mean, I I didn't even know what I didn't know about our, our internet requirements. I, I was very – I had my phone with me, and I thought, okay, well, we're in the States because I'm Canadian. I had my Canadian plan, which is overpriced. Uh, not very good in the U.S. Things have actually gotten quite a bit uh, improved over the past few years, but at the time it was just horrific. You guys empower people to to really figure out what it is your needs are, and then once you have that, here are some options, and you and you just make people go in with their eyes open. And, and when it and came time to do the show, obviously I've mentioned the RV geeks; they were my first call. You guys were my second. I mean, it was sort of the order of how my RVing went. I needed to know about the black tank first and about internet second. <laughs> you could argue maybe the other way around, but that's how I did it. And you guys were my second call. And I'm so glad that you guys both, you and the geeks, both came on board to, to the show to make it the great thing that it is now that we're going to be sharing with right. so, everyone. So so your history, and actually, I guess over this unlimited plan over the past several years, you've produced this amazing show, The Aviators, which has gone around the world. You're on your eighth season now. This has been a huge hit. Um, and it's been up, up in the United States in particular, it's been PBS, and then it's gone internationally. And so that's what you told us. You're going to kind of like recreate that. It's going to be another PBS show. How did this go from PBS to Discovery Channel? And what was the transition there with this? Well, it's, uh, some, people, <coughs> some people are saying that they really like PBS and they're not disappointed that we're on Discovery, but disappointed that we're not on PBS. Be well, don't be, don't be, because we are. We are still on PBS. Discovery Channel does not own our show. We own our show. We have all the freedom we want in the world, so we can be on Discovery and PBS. Those, uh, we have that choice. We have that control. So our decision to go on PBS, we've got a great relationship with, with our PBS distributors and our affiliate stations that, that have made... Uh, the aviator is so popular over the past decade. Uh, we're gonna we're, we're glad to share the show with them and 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 the public television viewers across the country. So it's still coming. Now that that will be in January. And the problem that we've had with PBS for ten years, for a decade, is that programming on PBS is not done at like the head office level. There's around three hundred and fifty independent stations. And by and large, each and every one programs their own content. So when someone says, oh, great, you're on PBS, when can I watch you? <laughs> That's not an easy question to answer. Because where are you? Uh, does your station carry us? When do they carry us? Are they going to run us now? Are they going to run us a month from now, six months from now, a year from now? Are they going to run us in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on the weekend, during the... We have no idea. And now so, you go to a commercial network like Discovery, and it's just it's programmed same nationwide. So it's like a set. We've longed to be able to give you the short answer, <laughs> and the short answer is Sunday the seventeenth at eight a.m. Nice. And then it's going to be amazing. We can say that now, and that's what Discovery gives us, and that's very important to us. Nice. And a different audience than what PBS. It's a different audience, and PBS is great. I'm not going to knock PBS. 
but discovery, discovery, it's shinier, it's glitzier. You know what I mean? Well, so, it's, so many more millions of people will, will see it this way. Yeah. You know, there's people who don't watch PBS. I mean, short of Sesame Street and Lawrence Welk, you're PBS, what's that? <laughs> uh, and there's a whole bunch of people that we've met over the years that only watch PBS. Right, right. Well, you know what? We're still going to hit them. And then there's the people who have and enjoy Discovery Channel, and we're going to get them too. And then there's the people who don't watch TV. They cut the cord, <laughs> and they stream. And you know what? We've got a way for them too. All right. So what streaming services will the RVers be available on? Well, we use the ranking uh, that we tend to do year over year, and I'm very proud to say that uh, every show that we've released uh, from uh, Air Boss, which is an aviator spinoff, to Jet Truck, which is an Air Boss spinoff, so a spinoff <laughs> of a spinoff, <laughs> to all seven and soon to be eight seasons of Aviators have all launched on iTunes ranking in the top five on release day. Airboss actually made it to number one for a short time. Wow. And I think one season of the Aviators, I can't remember which one right now, made it to number two. Wow. And when we look at these rankings, now some of these shows are a little bit old because it's been a while, but when you look at these rankings, we're in company with shows like The Daily Show, uh, Mythbusters, Anthony wow. Bourdain, Top Gear, so us being I'm getting on, intimidated. <laughs> us us even being on the same list as some of those titles is pretty darn spectacular. And so this what? is gonna have longevity, which means the content that we're having to create for our viewers has have a bit of an evergreen yes. style to it. It's we're not covering yeah, I mean, stories, we're not covering breaking stuff and I know a lot of what you guys are, are news flashes, like a, a, a plan that has just been announced or a, an update to a router or a modem or something. That's, that's too detailed, too current for what we do. We're, we're more conceptual, more theoretical, more high level. Right. Something that over time probably won't change because the concept, <laughs> will remain, although the details right. will probably change a great deal because we want to, you be, uh, we want people who discover the show to be able to watch these episodes when they discover it and be relevant to them then, whether it's on the 17th or the 18th or a year from now or five years from now. We want it to be current and relevant to viewers for as long as possible. And and there's already a second season of the RVers in the works, too. So this is already going to have some longevity. And it's already picked up. Right. That's right. That's right. And we are launching in the middle of May in 2020, once again, on Discovery, and then following immediately digitally and following shortly after that on PBS. So you won't have to wait very long for season two of the RV years. And then we plan on annual releases after that. So every May in 21 and then 22 and so on. And right now, We've got commitments. I'm not sure that we've officially announced this anywhere, so you might have a scoop here. We've got commitments for five years. Our Veers season two, and we do have arrangements set up right now for five seasons wow. of our Veers already. So that is, as, as sure as you and I are talking, that is going to happen. And my goal is... I, I see no reason for it to stop at five. I mean, it's just five right now because, I mean, you can only forecast so far before <laughs> before it's just too far. But season one is pretty much done. It's out the door. Season two, we've already started filming. Writing has already started for season two. It's going to be out the door in, in a handful of months. And then we get started on season three. Oh. And it won't be too far after that that we say, okay, what's happening beyond five? I'd like to easily... Take this to ten. Wow, that is. I'm, I got tingles. <laughs> <laughs> that is. And ambitious. for you, that's exciting for you, and it's exciting for everyone involved. In for it. everybody, for you and too, the, for and the RVing community. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. I think so. I, I don't want to be too, you know, that we're doing something great and grand, but I think we're doing something great and grand here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it RV, RV television that exists right now is largely reality shows about buying it, as if you were like like home buyer kind of shows. Who is yeah. at no. all? This no, is not at all. On education and information and the lifestyle itself. Yeah, it's not it's, about us. Yes. You're not going to hear us talking about yeah. us, except for I think in one little. Yeah, we're we're, we're barely know? in it, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean you guys are in it. I think uh, I think three times, if I recall. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm in it myself. I think twi- I'm in it three times as well. Um, it, we're basically facilitators. I mean, there's right. good information that we want to share to people that we think can make good use of it exactly. and improve their time and their enjoyment of, of RVing. We think we can provide that information. And all we are as, as the hosts of the show, us, us and, and the others, are people presenting that information. We're right. just sharing good information and, and good news and good stories. Mm-hmm. And you take it and use it or discard it as you see fit. Uh, ultimately, we want you to enjoy RVing as much as we do, because yeah. we do. Mm-hmm. Ah, awesome. Well, so, I think we should circle back to what are the streaming services? Yeah, so, 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 so list them all. And there's also you got Wild in Canada. So that's like a Canadian discovery. So we have, yep, we have Discovery on the, on the 17th in the United States. We have Discovery Canada, but they are not carrying the show. Our Canadian broadcaster is the uh, Wild TV network. They're sort of an outdoor and, and hunting and fishing kind of a channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they'll be carrying us in Canada. We'll be running three times a week with Wild including Friday night primetime starting on the 22nd of November. So if you're Canadian, watch out for that. Um, And if you're not a TV person, or you know what, even if you are, if you're watching on Discovery, if you're watching on Wild, we still want you to watch digitally. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is we want, especially on on the 18th, on launch day digitally, we want to climb the charts as best we can. We want to show the the television industry, the entertainment industry, who really doesn't want to do an RVing show that's intelligent and educational, that there is an audience for exactly that. And we want to give them our, our launch numbers and say, we launched reaching the ranking of number, fill in the blank here, I'd love to say number one. Okay. If we make top 20, I'll be happy. If we make top 10, I'll be really happy. Top five, I'll be super duper happy. Number <laughs> one, I'll probably explode. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and then the, the, the first episode will actually be a free download on, on Apple TV and everything else too, right? So you, you, you can watch that first episode for free. Absolutely. They, they, uh, they don't do that for every episode. That was a special arrangement that we had to make with Apple to, to uh, the contract, believe it or not, it's kind of cool, and the people in, of your audience might appreciate this. You know who countersigned the contract? I signed it on one side. You know who countersigned it? Eddie Q. Wow. Cool. <laughs> so me and Eddie Q, we're like tight. Nice. <laughs> some tech piece of paper. <laughs> on paper. On paper, yeah. Really. Tell, tell him I've got some bug reports I need him to follow up on. It's like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let him know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Next time you're having coffee or something. Nice. <laughs> And and now the version that will be on Discovery and Wild is different slightly than what will be on uh, the Apple services and, and PBS. PBS, right? So h- tell us about the difference. Commercial television requires that you cut the show in a certain way to facilitate room for commercials. Oh. That's the name. Streaming doesn't have those commercials, so we either give them a shorter version uh, minus something where the commercials would have been, or we fill in that space with something else. And we've decided to do that. So if you're streaming, you actually get some exclusive content that is only available to, on the streaming version. And that is in every episode, we're going to have a five minute segment called On the Road. And uh, On the Road segments are basically going to be cool things and cool people that we encounter and experience on the road. We tell their stories, show their rigs, or maybe that's an opportunity for us to showcase our hosts. I don't know. Maybe that'll happen. Cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that, that's actually interesting. So people can kind of experience the both sides of, of there, what There's the, reason the to watch for. both sides. I mean, to share the excitement of it going to such a huge distribution yeah, it's, as it's the fun, Discovery. It's fun to watch something live and knowing everybody else is watching it at the same time. Even if it is, it... it crazy o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. <laughs> but it's breakfast. It, it was almost crazier o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I remember. We were almost... <laughs> we, remember, we never... None of us, I don't think, mentioned the original uh, the original it, time slot. Yeah, <laughs> we don't speak of those things. They, but they like eight the so much. We'll, we'll take it. We'll take eight, eight o'clock. o'clock. At least I can <laughs> pretend to be awake then. <laughs> no, it's so exciting. Okay, so besides um, Apple TV, it's also coming to Amazon, Amazon Instant Video? Uh, I believe it's Amazon Instant Video. Okay. 
Google, and Google, uh, and Google Play. I'm a little confused on the whole Amazon. We're on Amazon. Okay. I don't do Instant Video or Prime. Um, if, if you're not a, an iOS user, you have a, an Android device, the link that we're, that we're publishing everywhere is a smart link. So if you're on an iOS device, it'll take you to iTunes or, or Apple TV. If you're uh, an Android user, it'll take you to Google Play. Um, somehow or else, it also gets you to Amazon, and it also gets you to Microsoft. Okay. So that smart link will get you everywhere, okay. and we're on all of those things. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so since this is going out on YouTube, this video, people are going to ask, are they going to ever be able to see the episodes on a YouTube venue? Well, we do have a YouTube channel. It's not like as popular as your YouTube channel yet. <coughs> Excuse me, it's still in, in its infancy. Um, but uh, And we don't have a whole lot of content on there right now. We have a couple of trailers, and we have a failed attempt at the Ask the Producer thing that... <laughs> Um, really showed me an appreciation of the kind of work that's involved in creating YouTube content. <laughs> Folks, that takes a lot of time. And if I'm going to spend that kind of time, I'm going to put it on TV, not on YouTube. <laughs> maybe yeah, that's a whole other discussion. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe so someday oh, yeah, sure. we can for do sure. some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. can be little YouTube features and stuff like that. can be kind of fun. Uh, absolutely. So we are going to start compiling some, some bloopers, uh, amazing though it seems that we'd have any. Um, but yeah, there, there will be and uh, and some other behind-the-scenes stuff and that will be more more YouTube content So I would encourage people to go on our Facebook page and subscribe or, or like us there uh, and also go on our YouTube uh, channel and subscribe there and There's not a whole lot of content there right now, but there will be over time We're, we're working on that for mm -hmm. sure and it'll be it'll be interesting stuff Okay well, I think we've gotten all the details we could ring out of you right and now. And we got some special insider and, stuff. And uh, scoops. <laughs> oh, oh. And now we're just all counting the days. It's like, what, from now? It we're is 12, 12 and a half days. days. 12, 12 and a half days. days. If they have Not bad. Yeah, no, 11 and a half. 11 and, and a half days from now. We will be up there. There's a lot of excitement. There's watch parties. There's all kinds of stuff going so on. So where are you going to be watching it from? Uh, from this chair right here. Right, right. Wait, that where, where, is it, where is that chair going to be parked at? You that that chair is going to be in Milton, Ontario. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'd, I'd love to tell you it's in some place more exotic. I'd love to tell you it's at one of the watch parties or at where you're going to be or where the Mortons are going to be. I know there's a couple of pretty, mm -hmm. pretty important watch parties happening. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be here because this is where the home base is. Uh, we're still gigging with the band, so that's keeping us here until January 3rd when we hit the road. And we'll be seeing you guys again, and we're looking forward to that. And yeah, we'll, you'll uh, be meeting up in the desert, and absolutely, it'll be a hopefully hoot. hanging out and maybe getting a little filming yeah. in too. <laughs> yeah, we'll get some work done, but we'll get some playing done too. TV yeah. producer and a rock star simultaneously. It's you're, you're yeah, living a good life. Look, we say he's a rock star. He re literally is yes. a rock star too. We'll put some video so. clip of that there. So. <laughs> well, not quite as big as a star. Uh, maybe a rock satellite. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, fantastic. We're so looking forward to hooking back up with, with you and Lisa and uh, maybe chilling out more than we got to at uh, yeah. our village yeah. rally. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to just a more leisurely uh, way to spend uh, time together than, than the hectic time we had last time. Yes. yes. And, and then looking forward to getting together with your film crew again, too, next time. Absolutely. Oh, cool. Yes. So, yes, thank you so much for inviting us to be part of this. Um, I, I think our heads are all going to be exploding <laughs> here in about a week because we really uh, realize the magnitude of this little thing that we said yes to a year ago. <laughs> well, I think I think you guys have learned what a lot of people, when they cross paths with me, uh, learn. Uh, when I say something, I mean it. <laughs> uh, even when you say something you didn't re remember saying it <laughs> yeah, well hey if, if, if it bounces around in there in any capacity that, that makes it come out here it, it's gonna happen I uh, I'm, I'm a pretty determined sort so uh, when I say it's gonna last five years it's it gonna is. Last 15. when I say I want it to go 10 it's all <laughs> okay we'll, we'll be covering hover RVs in 10 years I'm still looking forward to that self driving self -driving hover yeah. RVs. there we go <laughs> So cool. thanks so much, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really appreciate everything you do, and I appreciate this. Thank you.